Rainbow as always welcome back and yes we are talking about a documentary today I know I know it's been ages since I talked about a, a documentary but but um, I actually uh, watched one stumbled upon one on Amazon Prime right before Christmas I know and I'm just now talking about it and that documentary was looking for Johnny the legend of Johnny Thunders. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Terrific, terrific documentary. Uh, Johnny Thunders, for those of you who uh, may or may not know, because I certainly had no idea who this gentleman was. This documentary caught my eye. Johnny Thunders was a punk rock musician. Um, kind of helped, was, uh, I would, I, I would say, definitely say, definitely helped kickstart the uh, whole glam metal rock scene and everything. He was actually one of the, uh, I guess, uh, founding members of the New York Dolls with David Johansson, um, and then went on to being part of the Heartbreakers, not Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, different Heartbreakers, and just his struggles with drugs and personal demons and everything. A lot, obviously, a lot about his music and everything. Terrific, terrific documentary. This came out, I believe, in 2014, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's oh, and here's the thing. Here's the thing, you guys. Um, like I, I have a lot of respect and admiration for like punk and glam rock scene, but self admittedly, I have not listened to nearly as much punk rock. Or glam rock then I should you know I really want to uh, you know get more into it and this documentary definitely I would say would be is a good kind of launching pad or starting point if you really do want to start getting into glam rock or punk and you know that whole scene and everything uh, and Johnny Thunders too I uh, you know let me tell you for a girl who you know was kind of clueless about who this guy was don't really know a whole lot about uh, New York Dolls or anything. Uh, never heard of this uh, version of the Heartbreakers or anything. Um, wow, dude. It's good, good, like, starting point to kind of get into this and everything. Uh, and this, Johnny Thunders definitely seems like uh, he was one of those um, musicians who, yeah, you think punk, you think, okay, it's kind of all the same. It's not. I mean, even I could tell you, punk rock is not just you know, always, like, quick two-minute songs or whatever, and just, da -da -da -da. no, he definitely is a very eclectic, uh, wide range of music and songs, and just, oh, very, very talented man, uh, unfortunately, uh, he is no longer with us, uh, like I said, he did, he did, uh, pass away, I believe, in 1991, um, and, oh, man, just, especially his last, few days and everything well his whole life you know I feel it, it, it's pretty heartbreaking but especially like uh sort of like his last few days and everything when he kind of knew he was sick you know he, he kind of you felt like he kind of wanted to really get himself clean but kind of knew I uh, even if he got clean he's still uh there's still something more wrong with him I that's not even proper English more wrong but there's something uh far worse with him than, you know, just the drugs. So you just, uh, it's heartbreaking when, you know, to know that he was kind of aware of that, of, yeah, he wanted to get clean, but there was still more, uh, something else wrong with him. So it just, heartbreaking. It really is. It really is heartbreaking. Uh, but no, this is definitely, uh, like I said, it's a, it's a great documentary. Even if you're kind of like me, who's not quite as into the punk rock scene or the glam scene or anything, very informative. And like I said, it's just, you know, a good launching pad if you want to really kind of start getting more into this type of music. Uh, I, and I have to say, there's, um, I'm really interested in checking out Johnny Thunder's sort of like acoustic phase and everything. Just it's the little bit of music that they did share in this movie about the, about his, um, acoustic phase in his career and everything. Oh my God. It sounds just so beautiful and just so you know it's like you're he's totally giving us his soul in that and everything and it just so beautifully well done uh someone that I, I kept thinking about 
during this uh, this documentary, and I'm sure he's probably seen it, is my nephew Christian, um, uh, Jen's son, over at Jen's Reviews from the Grave. Uh, dude, if you have not seen this yet, totally watch it. But like I said, I'm pretty sure you probably are, have already seen this documentary. Worth checking out, you guys. Whether you're, you know, like I said, a huge fan of punk rock and of Johnny Thunders and his bands and everything, or even if you're someone like me who's kind of like, ah, you know what, I'm not as I, I'm not as into it as I should, but it seems interesting. It totally is worth the hour and a half or hour and 38 minutes that this runtime is. And it doesn't seem feel like an hour and a half long at all. The documentary went by pretty quickly. Um, so definitely check this one out. For those of you who have checked this one out, let me know what you think of the documentary in the comments. Or even maybe like some of your uh, favorite Johnny Thunder songs, performances, where you're more of a New York, uh, New York Dolls person or more of a uh, Heartbreakers fan or his solo stuff. Let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, terrific, terrific. And it's a little bit of a tearjerker. I gotta say, it's a little bit of a tearjerker, you guys. Because like I said, this does go through like his whole life, pretty much, up till his death. And you see a lot of his struggles and everything. And even at one point, um, it kind of, uh, he kind of reminded me a little bit of Jim Morrison. Because there was a point where he was doing this, sh this show or whatever. Um, I think, like, overseas in, like, Britain or something, if I'm not mistaken. And he was so loaded up on drugs and alcohol that he was literally just, like, a babbling buffoon on stage and everything. It's so heartbreaking, and it just, oh, man. He is such a talent. I, I give nothing but respect for his legacy and everything and what he has uh, brought to the music scene. And he is his talents and everything and efforts still you could still tell are you know influencing people still to this day and everything so definitely worth checking out you guys let me know like i said let me know what you think of this documentary and some of your uh favorite johnny thunder songs and everything till next time as always stay creepy classy and a little bit sassy